Russell Labby and Theresa Driscoll. Millions marvel worldwide at the last total eclipse of the millennium. It was darkness before noon in our first full eclipse for 70 years. A once in a lifetime event brought much of Britain to a standstill. In America, they've just caught the main suspect after the latest mass shooting. The car industry is under attack again. Now it's the way they advertise their prices. In the southwest, the cloud did lift in parts of Cornwall, Alderney, the Isles of Scilly and Torbay to allow thousands a chance to see the eclipse. And here in Falmouth, it was the experience of totality that was amazing. Welcome to the BBC's News at 6 o'clock. For many, it was well worth the wait. Two billion people around the world have seen the last total eclipse of the sun to take place in this millennium. The British weather was up to its old tricks, but the experience was still memorable, and there's plenty of evidence that most of us were watching. British firms say they lost millions as staff took a break, and the national grid experienced its biggest ever surge as people returned to work. Our first report this evening is from Nicholas Witchell, He's been watching the moon's shadow cross over Devon and Cornwall. That's 70 Fahrenheit. Back to you, you Hugh. Isabel, thank you. Now it's nearly half past six. Don't forget there will be an update on the day's main stories later in the hour. Stay with us. In a moment it's time to join the BBC's news teams across the United Kingdom. But we'll take our leave with a reminder of the day's best images. As the last total eclipse of the millennium cast its shadow over half the globe. Two billion people saw it and not many, surely, will forget it. From all of us, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>